Washington, D.C., home of America's sharpest penis. Ever since metal detectors were installed outside the House of Representatives in the wake of the Capitol riots, Republicans have been causing a scene by trying to sneak past with their own guns. And it's gotten so bad that Democrats had to finally lay down the law. Fines for House members who refuse to pass through new metal detectors, the $5,000 fine for a first offense and a $10,000 fine after that will be deducted straight from lawmakers' salaries. Every Republican present voted against this new rule proposed by Speaker Nancy Pelosi in the wake of the Capitol insurrection. Some Republicans, like Louis Gohmert of uh, Texas, Lauren Boebert of Colorado, and Andy Harris of Maryland, they have already tried to defy these new security screenings. Whew. You gotta admit, man, these Republicans have got some balls. They're really out here like, I need my guns. This place is dangerous. Any minute now, I could incite another riot. Look, man, there is no reason that any member of Congress should need a gun on the floor of the House. None, okay, maybe except Louis Gohmert. I mean, he needs his gun for hunting rabbits. So look, I hope that these fines will finally force Republicans to behave themselves. On the other hand, though, bringing your gun in and paying the fine anyway might just be the way Republicans flex from now on. They'll just be walking around like, yeah, that's right. I got that metal detector money, bitch. Speaking of the insurrection, one thing that set it off was the conspiracy theory that the Democrats stole the election using rigged voting machines from the company Dominion. It's a conspiracy theory that was pushed by Trump supporters like Mike Lindell, the MyPillow founder and alt-right Mario, and the right-wing network Newsmax talked about it all the time. But last month, Dominion finally told Newsmax, yo, if you don't get our name out of your mouth, we're gonna sue your Channel 349-ass network into oblivion. And based on what happened yesterday when Lindell tried to go back on Newsmax, the network is taking that threat seriously. We have all the election fraud with these Dominion machines. We have 100% proof. And then I, when they took it down um, uh, about my, three weeks my, ago, I, and then when I put it back up, my personal, I put a, it was a Mike, thing about uh, my thank you very much. Mike, Mike, I, you're talking about machines uh, that, that we at Newsmax have not been able to verify any of uh, yeah, okay. those kinds of allegations. Well, we just want to let people know that there's nothing substantive that we've seen. And let me read you something there. While there were some clear evidence of some cases of vote fraud and election irregularities, the election results in every state were certified and Newsmax accepts the results as legal and final. The courts have also supported that view. So right. we so, wanted so to you talk to you about place. canceling you suppress, culture, you if you will. Me. We don't want you to relitigate the, like the, the hey, wait, uh, wait, wait, allegations wait, wait, that you're wait. making, I, Mike, I, because I'm we we, the, we understand where you are. So let me ask you this. Do you think Twitter that this should be temporary because it appears to be permanent? Could you make an argument that it is temporary? What? Could you make an argument that this could be a temporary banning rather than permanent? No, I want it to be a permanent because, you know what? They did this because I'm revealing all the evidence on Friday of all the election fraud with these machines. So I'm sorry if you okay. think it's not uh, Mike, it's real. Mike, I, 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 can I ask our producers, can we uh, get out of here, please? Uh, I, I don't want to have to keep going over this. Actually, we at Newsmax Mike, have right, not been able wait, to verify any of those wait allegations. Wait, you're, you're, Mike, okay. hold on you a second. Everybody hold on a second. Mike, Mike, hold on one second. Uh, let's talk a little bit about just what is happening. Damn! That defamation lawsuit has Newsmax shook. See that dude? He pieced out of there like the Chipotle just hit. But you see, that's the power of the courts right there. Because Mike Lindell tried to stage a coup and Newsmax was fine with inviting him on. But the second he started saying shit that was gonna get them sued, all of a sudden they were like, bup, 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 bup. no, 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 my man. Overthrowing the government is one thing, but <laughs> a lawsuit, that shit's serious. And keep in mind, this is Newsmax we're talking about. Remember, Newsmax is like Fox News after it stopped taking its meds. But at least for a minute, Dominion managed to sue them into behaving like actual journalists. According to this statement from my lawyer, your, your facts are incorrect. 